Thank you, Max. While many Utahns celebrated the president's visit, others took it as an opportunity to speak out against him. Right around the corner from the fundraiser, a different kind of party was happening. This one filled with folks who aren't very happy with President Bush. Organizers served up burgers and dogs at the Bush Bash Barbecue. More than 100 people attended the event. A much larger protest was held this evening at Washington Square in Salt Lake City. That's where Fox 13's Katie Carlisle is right now. Katie. Bob and Hope, around 1,000 people showed up for today's rally, which ended just about an hour ago, and speakers had a special message for Bush and his supporters. We won't keep our mouths shut. For the second time in two years, crowds of people greeted Bush's arrival with a protest. And just like he did in 2006, former Mayor Rocky Anderson took center stage. You who are here today raising your voices for an end to the tremendous abuses of power are true patriots. Much of the rally focused on the issue of torture and what rally goers call human rights abuses by the Bush administration. Shame. Deep shame. It would be bad enough if this was for a good cause. A military mother who lost her son in the war told the crowd she thinks Bush doesn't see the consequences of his actions. Once again, he proves he doesn't get it. He doesn't understand sacrifice. George Bush and his cronies are responsible for. 4,084 American deaths in Iraq. And while much of Utah, the reddest of the red states, still supports President Bush, these people have a different opinion of him. Oh, I can't say that camera. <laughs> they say they hope the president hears their message. In the face of wrongdoing, we must all do what we can to bring about positive change. And if there were any Bush supporters here, they kept a very low profile. This rally was billed as nonpartisan, but one speaker did urge the crowd to vote Democratic this November. Live in Salt Lake City, Katie Carlisle, Fox 13 News.